It has always been a human quest to understand what the universe is made of and how it is evolving and where we are going. The universe is a very, very big and, and pristine laboratory. In cosmology, one can look at two types of data. On one side, one can look at the radiation that is coming from us from the period of the Big Bang. Uh, it's just light, it's just not visible light as the light from the sun or from light bulbs. On the other side, you can also look at the distribution of matter in the universe and that gives us a hints on the content of the universe and how it evolved. We are very excited now because we are involved in the Planck project. Planck is a satellite that is studying very much in detail this radiation. What Planck does is that it takes pictures of the sky at nine different wave bands. It's just like if you went out and took a picture of the panorama you see around, but putting a filter on your camera that only shows green objects or red objects or yellow objects. By doing so, what it sees is the anisotropies of the cosmic microwave background, but also all the other astrophysical objects that emit at the same wave bands, at the, that emit on the same, at the same colors. Clusters of galaxies are one of the astrophysical objects that you actually detect through Planck. Planck has already discovered new clusters that were never found before. So galaxy clusters are the biggest gravitationally bound objects in our universe and they are essentially composed by dark matter which we don't see directly apart from lensing effects. Studying cosmology and especially the cosmic microwave background is a way to get as close as possible to, to those moments and to have the most clear explanation, clear picture of what actually happened in those very, very first instants of the history of the universe.